today's plan is to react to my own speedrun that I did this Sunday for Gamestone Quick for the little one and done phone mini marathon where I participated with Metal Gear MSX in the 100% category. I've not watched back my own run. I mean, I, I did it. I know what happened there. But I'm thinking I'm doing this commentary thing for my YouTube channel. And I will uh, definitely bring this over and say, okay, this commentary thing, this is for my channel. The official VOD is still on GQ's channel, so we both benefit. Because I feel like it would be a bit scummy to just rip the whole video and put it on my own channel. So I'd rather do something with it. And that's going to be my way of, you know, on hindsight, reacting to it a little bit, talking about it. What happened, what were my thoughts. And then, if you see this on YouTube, of course, link in the video description, you will find was the full VOD on Gamestone Quick's channel as well. Hope you watch it. It's been a great time. Sarge and I had great balance going back and forth. And um, yeah. So how was the one and done? Um, definitely great, Roy. Welcome, welcome. I'm just about to watch it back myself and actually see what I did there. Um, as I said, I haven't watched it myself. So we're going to jump right over that and take a look. All right. So um, let's just take a look. So I, I will start not with my opening speech. That's on GDQ's channel. I will just look at the run itself and see how it went. I have no idea. So um, let's take okay, a look. Let's, let's get this 100% run going in three, two, one. Right away already. I see a bunch of people talking about the game and the version. Like, where is this PS2 version? Does it say PS2? Is this for NES? That's already the thing that I was wondering about in the beginning. Do people get what MSX even is? So for those that don't know, MSX, of course, is like an old, you know, 80s and 90s computer, just like the Mac was, technically a personal computer. And uh, yeah, there's also an NES version, which I don't play. <laughs> as I'm just saying, it's Jacobo says, I have this, but it's the NTSC version, and there's a reason PAL is used instead. Yeah, we're going to do this run on PAL. As usual, I mean, if I have the choice, I would always pick the power version. It's just, you know, 11% faster, as you all know. And uh, yeah, we're going to check out also more from chat later. I also see, like, before that, there were so many runners coming in, like Desmo Flynn, I think uh, Jagger Kings was in there, so many other people from the community. Uh, really make me really happy that everyone showed up, really. Be like, hey, our guy's running at the event. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> the family tuned in. Thank you so much. So. Go. <laughs> Already Air Force before we started the actual run. Right off the bat, GQ also uses a massive compressor. It's interesting. A couple things, uh, really pumped down the audio. How to move, uh, I think the so do I get the clean? Very nice. We you will also see that I'm gonna never hopefully see text boxes when I'm picking up items. That's one of the key techniques in order to be very fast. You really want to use your D-pad and when you go left, for example, go down right instead of just left right in the right movement because they want to overload basically what you're doing there with the text box. The emulation of this game, quite interesting, it's actually written in Java because it's based on the mobile port. That mobile port still works in the same way. You can do a little bit more inputs before you pick up an item and that will basically cause the text box to not even appear with text. It will immediately go away. This saves exactly one frame when you do it successfully. And every time I do it, you know, it's one frame at least, so it does it up, but technically you could get away with it if you just hold down X in order to skip the text box. It really is just a very, very difference. Usually grab that key card and we're on our way. However, again, this is 100% with community defined yeah, that's rules. That's so why we've seen it. Collect one of every item in the game, barring a PS2 exclusive item called the bandana, which he does not have in his inventory because that's a new game plus thing. We don't count it. Yeah, and I hate new game plus. Six rations set up. And Sarge got it wrong. I told him before we only pick four rations. I, I, I didn't want to correct it on stream. I was like, nah, whatever. <laughs> But technically, 100%, we only collect four because uh, we grab the gas max because of the requirement anyway. So that means the gas room that we visit right away, that's one ration that we don't need to use. And later in building two, when we go through the gas maze, that's also where we don't burn like two rations at once. So having to pick up the gas mass anyway helps us to save rations. So why would I even pick them up if I don't need them? Those gas rooms will do a lot on our health. You can see we're class yeah. one which means we have about 50% of our health. 
What the fuck? Is that the Bose Einstein condensate snake? No. <laughs> That's also cool to see his style. Uh, or high style, I guess. Uh, runner who also, just like me, learned the game in order to commentate for, for another event. Um, he was on the French restream, right? Uh, this high style here. And uh, he's like, oh yeah, I want to learn the game. It seems to be very short. And um, he just started running it. And just occasionally still since GDQ. But he was actually just learning the run in order to commentate for the French restream. So it's, it's always nice that we share the spawns here and there. Which is, not only do we need that pistol we just Thanks. picked up, that pistol yeah, I'm doing well. Just reacting to my own run, which I haven't seen yet. For eliminating threats because oh, nice elbow snake. You can see how my elbow is clipping into the texture here. It means I was just on the right pixel. Is going to do, I think, four ticks of damage to us. And yes. contact does, I don't remember if it's one or two. two. Uh, uh, sorry, one, one. That, that yeah. <laughs> I love when I did this. I always... Every time when I do 100%, I forget I'm running 100% and my brain automatically goes back to any percent. In any percent, we enter this room, go left and down. We never pick up the ammo, right? But on 100%, I need the ammo, so <laughs> it's actually more rare for me to just like go left and then remember I need to get the ammo rather than, oh yeah, picking up ammo, go into the room, up, and then leave again. So, Damage is scary. So you uh, just the thing I do. That guard dumb. Which means they could decide to shoot just because they wanted to. That was a very an fast menu window. there. What you want to do is However, you go in here, in save the POW, very random. and then when you open that door, after you open the door, you want to quick click the, um, the R2 to open the weapon menu, then L2 to go over to the equipment menu, up twice to go to the gas mask and close it again, and this menu was blazing fast. Which means they could decide to shoot just Damn, that was because good. they wanted to. There is an RNG. Menuing is a great part of the speedrun on the higher levels. However, so. uh, we need these plastic explosives are required for the game. Uh, oh, yeah. Shoutouts, by the way, to Sergeant Silence. Um, when I knew I got into the event, I almost immediately texted him, like, hey, man, this is our game. You want to do this? And he's like, of course. And so um, he was almost immediately asked when I knew I had to run into the event, like, yeah. Please commentate with me. This is like one of the most knowledgeable, most active runners of this game, and I, I seriously think we hit it off as well in this one. We have a lot of fun. Um, so we need them. Uh, there was a room back there that you might have asked why we didn't go to. Uh, so every card in this or every door in this game requires there we go. a card. What I just did there, you might have not heard it ever during the run, but uh, I was shooting technically a few of these cards on my way out. When I enter this floor, I walk in front of the camera, and the camera actually gives me a full floor-wide alert. So in order to get rid of that and to save some health, because once these guards are all going crazy, you cannot stop them, I want to bring it back to a non-alert state, and for that I have to kill four guards. So on my way from all the way to the bottom left corner, to the right, I start shooting all of these guys, and this is why I actually got some extra ammo. If I was just fighting the four horsemen, I wouldn't need that many bullets. With like two exceptions. For that, the two card he got, he's gonna need for other rooms. Got some sweet um, menuing going on. Thanks. We picked six rations. Yeah, I had, I had tech spend in my channel as well, and, and he was asking, how do I get faster? I'm like, gotta get better at those menus. And like, I, I actually had to memorize every single menu input. The good thing is that this game is completely reliable, right? You were doing this, you sit down, and you memorize the round, and even the menus are fully rounded out. There's nothing of chance there, except for like one part later in building two, where it can be that you use a ration earlier, get rid of it, of the last one in your items inventory. And then uh, when that happens, some menus might change before you want to have them change. You know, that's the only thing. But until then, for at least the first 10 to 12 minutes, everything's always the same. And so uh, you can actually memorize every single so menu. And if you do that well, whatever, you do them such as walking across lightning an fast. Floor, you're always going to burn. Also good. We have to see it again. However, <laughs> yeah. if House has to, uh, there are safety let's move on. in so that House can afford to burn one. So let's. So here's the first open. mistake I did. I sadly went too high here, right? And if you lean against the box here on the left side, you will not hit the guy on the other side because your bullets just don't reach enough over there. It's one of the, the many weird things. Uh, you both travel exactly this amount of the boxes. Oh, you cannot see my cursor. Cursors! I gotta activate my 
cursor, capture cursor. Full game studio. There you go. And you still cannot see. There it is. There's my cursor. So uh, the bullets travel exactly from this box to this box and they stop before you can actually hit the guy, right? It's so annoying because we have to walk up and then immediately turn right to so in this bottom corner a little bit closer and then you can start shooting the guy. You will see when I move over to the left, I'll actually move down a little bit just so I can hit him and then I have to do the right guy again. Usually I do it right guy, left guy and then go up and wait for one of these two to go in the center so I can start shooting them. Good pattern. Looks like, uh, there you go. did you get the good pattern here, House? See, so I had to do it twice. Well, the thing is, um, I'm manipulating the guards basically, there you go. not at all. I'm keeping my distance so they don't randomly start walking away. Right? Okay. And God usually we start with right side uh, at the bottom, then left, and then we move up to the center and just wait for the top guys to move to the center so I can just shoot them without taking damage. <laughs> the section on any percent. I the first one to the right and had to Yeah, it can be a, bit, a little bit enough wrecking. You know, we were still yeah. good. We have seven half points, so it's manageable. Uh, let's get so, to the end here. To use there you go. The pistol, box, and that's all we need to do on this one. Without triggering an alert, which is so think, pretty useful. Oh, yeah, there we go. This is something really cool that I not not found really but what i tripped over lately when i was doing 100 percent attempts if you go this pixel and go right into the next screen the guards don't immediately see you and you can actually walk past them because your hitbox will be below the guard and that only works i think if you're coming from the left to the right and so for especially any percent i i'd gotta do like a mini update tutorial video where i explain like hey if you are low on health go a little bit lower don't catch the attention of the guards and then go up. And then it's very, very likely, even if you have one HP, they can't hit you. Let's check it out again here. See my pixel here? It's down here. And I walk over to the right. And usually we are way high up here. For any percent, we want to be fast, right? But since it's 100% and a little bit more lax, I go a little bit lower. And as you can see, these guys don't immediately see you. This guard on the right would always see me immediately. But in this way, I can actually sneak past them go to the center and then go up and then that's almost too late for them to notice me useful later on because as you can see how especially because i shoot them as well out, uh that's for safety but also just shows the usefulness like of a the very minor thing, thing but it can definitely help you uh, and basically okay. the trick is you have to get captured and then punch through the wall and then you can save him but that's only the very nice part of mission. i punched six times <laughs> A TX-55, oh, so no. the mission is still on, folks. I even jokes here, let's go. I, was expecting you to don't have the ammo I don't know if I have actually grabbed exactly five. Us, yeah, I actually so grabbed four ammo boxes, room, then menued, and was... Like, ah, I should probably check again. Ammo boxes, and it was like, I have to grab one more. Until later. Uh, House, would you like to explain why that's... Early bomb tech, that is going to be wall. amazing. It's something we found out in the Metal Gear MSX tournament we did on the channel for the 35th anniversary. And I, I remember when, when Nick, I think it was in his final, he did place down a bomb and I was like, man, that, that's really gonna be tight. I'm, I'm not sure if this works, and it worked. And then as, as it goes with this game, really, it had me go, hmm, I should probably investigate more. And uh, like a few hours later, on the next day, I was like, man, this is really inconsistent. When I'm standing still, I can go way lower than any other walls. And that led to the discovery, like, oh, yeah, we can actually use this to place bombs way earlier than we used to. And then save just a little bit more time. Text tutorials. Um, I would really recommend you uh, giving it a shot. If you feel interested about it, if you have a PS2 lying around or have the HTC collection. Yeah, this is also a thing where I was really anxious about. I wanted to not get this alert here. Because you can do the left side, right? You can do this entirely with an alert. The problem is you lose a lot of health. And I was doing it actually last week on the PS2 PAL version where I was once again in any percent brain. Did the right side of the room first, then went left. And just because I wasn't standing still and not getting that full floor alert, I was actually like eight seconds faster. So while 100% girl is not amazingly um, optimized, it can be that in the future we have to actually come back again and that we actually have to um, yeah, do it even faster and with higher risk and use more rations. Because awesome. currently, when we pick four rations at the beginning, it's absolutely comfortable. You most likely will just use three and the fourth one is just for backup. And it can be in the future, we're actually going to use four, maybe even five. 
So we take that four second time loss, but actually have more rations to get later. I apologize if I implied it didn't earlier. Thank you for the question. That's a good clarification. Thank you. Yeah, if you have any questions, guys, we have a little bit of time on our hands. Um, oh, yeah, and they also asked about the sun. So working with the SNG, which actually works to fall asleep. Ooh. <laughs> Is that guaranteed to fall asleep? We do require that you take them out. They're really yeah. negligible. It's basically and there. If I saw it correctly, I actually need to use a ration. Out. So it's uh, a second time. Yeah, I'm door. super low. Uh, usually we try to get away. This is really important. Usually we try to get away uh, from Shotmaker while having enough health. If we have like one HP after meeting him, that's totally fine because we will not be captured. We will not take damage. And the next POW is POW number um, 10. So we would get a full health back again immediately. And it just so happened that I had, I think, four points of health when I entered the room and I had to heal myself before I finished him. That's one ration use I'd rather have taken later because I immediately healed myself, killed Shotmaker, uh, MGK, sorry, <laughs> MGK, and then got out and healed myself again with the PW. So. Not ideal, but this is what I mean. It could be that if we take the risky version, four rations are still good full health, which is our ultimate goal here. But in the meantime, we're going to equip uh, the bomb blast suit, which if you guys played this game casually, you might have gotten stuck. This is one of the many things that I'm really proud of. Um, when I was actually taking a look at 100%, it was only run on original difficulty and it had very, uh, like many familiarities with big boss attempts. Only that we actually used as many rations as we wanted to because we didn't give a crap about the rank at the end. When I looked at it, I was thinking, man, EZ has so many more advantages. Also, the second floor that we visited after starting the game, also, it's so much better for me and way faster. And if we pick up the RC missile, there's only two ways that we can do it. We either pick it up on the second floor or we pick it up on the roof. And I was so praying and hoping that the roof version was faster. And it turned out to be actually faster by like 40 seconds. That's one of the many things that I'm like, okay, it's a little bit out of the way on the roof, but it is in total way faster to pick it up. There. Watch, for example, Taxman's um, old 100% run. Where he did it basically just like big boss. Yes. So, to grab that way, way slower. Over to that side. Uh, now we're at, uh, for most people, a really scary bridge. Thankfully, <laughs> I fell off these bridges today when I did all pits uh, attempts. <laughs> I filled all the category extension um, full runs. I'm just waiting for Amiga and Java version. I have to do these uh, at some point. We have really good HP, so unless these guards really light into us, it's fine. It's fine. We're gonna be completely fine because we're coming up. Yeah, I think I had like 20 points of health there. Actually, would have to fight in a category. Or maybe 16. We have more than enough for sure. You basically just get in position, throw 20 grenades. We have a question. What happens if you do not remove the transmitter house? <laughs> oh, I love watching uh, house runs. Thank you so much. Like all the love in chat, I, I, I see it now and I'm so happy. Thank you so much, everyone. You will just be on our constant alert. <laughs> Fight. Yeah. You can actually beat Except for his MOBA be post run. Removing the transmitter. Oh yeah, I, I beat Desmo's run so hard and I guess not beaten it yet. Uh, on the other side, he has still the phone any percent uh, Metal Gear Mobile world record. So kudos to you, Desmo Plan. I haven't beaten that yet. It's very solid. That bomb he just hit. Oh yeah, and I actually uh, said to Sarge, um, I want to show the people where the mines are. And the cool thing is the way... Um, hey, there's Nash. The cool thing is how it all works with the menus. You have the parachute, then you pick up on the roof the uh, mine detector, and only then you pick up the level 4 card. So usually on any percent, no mine detector of all, of course. We just go down one, but if you go down one, just like we usually do any percent, we end up with the mine detector. So sometimes when I was doing runs, I was seeing like, oh, I'm on the mine detector. Got to do it again. But turns out it's actually quite nice here for this showcase run because we can see actually where all the mines are placed here and how it's literally impossible if you want to be fast to avoid this one here in the corner. But thankfully, our iframes are long enough. And this is why I was like going full all the way up here and take all three of these that out. Bomb he just hit. And then taking advantage <laughs> of his iframes, this game actually has a lot of iframes when it wants to give you a lot of iframes. Yeah, yeah. Um, he can actually just tank every one of those mods. And I missed this. Um, uh, when you want to be too fast right and mess up. Are you confident in this? This is very important for me to pick up these mines. So Thankfully, I remembered. Building and then we're straight on to building two. Nice. However, Oh my God. I sometimes just forget these mines. And you can see me, I picked up once and I was like, oh yeah, I gotta grab two more of these mines. <laughs> I really don't want to fight the tank in 100%. It's so annoying. It's the tank. 
It's the one boss we fight over As I just said, it's an annoying boss. All of us, we skip it. Change my and here, here's coming now the part where I was like super nervous. I talked to Sanj before this one. It's like, man, he asked me, you're doing fine, you know, something that worries you. And I'm like, I'll be honest, man, this tank fight, it could be annoying. I could die a lot to it. And he's like, okay, what, what's the estimate? Well, estimate is 33 minutes. The record on this is like a low 29 minute run. So we have like four minutes where we could waste time. But, you know, it's GDQ. I'd rather not. You know, I'd rather deliver a good run. So... <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. You get a yep. checkpoint. Uh, so how's it gonna go? Gotta go over here. So the idea is that we do the same thing as we do with any percent. We stay on the center line, move to the right, and then up. And that way we will always be shot immediately just before touching the tank. And that is perfect for us to give us here the iframes so we can lay directly into the tank. And as you can see here, I placed on three mines. I had to wait for them to go away because you can only place three at once on the screen. I was like, oh god, I gotta wait again. Come forth! Very trolly tank. And there he is. You have to put down 12 to get the tank away, and sometimes it's just, you, you hit 11, your iframes go away, and then the tank rolls over the 12, but you're already dead, so the game is still set you back. So annoying. <laughs> yeah. One of the requirements for this category is he has to call yeah, creepy every as well. single codec. There are four damage as much as possible, but these flying guards, they don't like to... Oh, uh, yeah, Headwolf actually went amazing here. For how usually it is so frustrating and, like, you know, really tough on you. In 100%, because we have all the things that you need, you have just been healed up at the tank, you just got the body armor. Hellroof is like a non issue. Totally feeling fine. We have seven means after this one. I was thinking, man, isn't it weird that I know exactly my health number? Like, nobody's supposed to know I did this on emulator. <laughs> and of course, playing on emulator allows me to use the auto splitter, and you can actually read out the internal game data, just like how many kills we did so far, or saves, and what our IGT is, and things like that. I found out that I, I personally think it's a good thing to know about if you're running on emulator anyway, and it's perfectly fine to run an emulator. Um, having the knowledge a little bit more also helps you to be way better at the game. Hey, you rescued oh, a fake no! one! Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I, said, I said to Sarge as well, man. If I'm um, not on PB pace, which would be world record pace, um. I'm, I'm just gonna goof around. I'm actually gonna uh, go to the fake Dr. Mana just for shits and giggles. And it happened to be like, was like a plus eight at this point. So it wasn't bad, but I was like, ah, come on. It's, it's for GDQ. Let's have some fun. Very short. Buffer setup. Yep. You don't want to have the floor wide alert here. Um, most of these cards, if you have a floor wide alert, they really take uh, away your health. Even on easy difficulty, this is so bad. Punch three times, avoid the lasers, and just get local room alerts. It's way easier. Oh my god. We're gonna take advantage of knowing when unloaded in the house, which uh, has. Wow. <laughs> yeah, my health is not the highest. That's why you see me going down here. It's actually faster to go over the top, but I was thinking, ah, I should probably preserve a little bit of health that I have. We need to really make every use of those rations count. I still remember the beginning, I picked only four rations and I'm on my last one. And as I also said, menus and keeping the menus consistent is key. So I will drag all of this health out all the way until I actually need to use the ration, which was just before I get back again after the underground segment. The last item to your list. And it, if you do a different route, the item... Nice avoidance here of the guards. You just have to go up, right, and then up. That delays it just enough so the guards will go out of your way. It's actually sorted. Named you one, it's not the case. Yep, so House uses a ration earlier than he anticipates. And now comes the coolest thing. We actually go back through the maze. We go to the bottom left exit and then go back to building one where Ellen is. And this was one of the main things while I was thinking, man, 100% that's, that's definitely got something I'm going to look into. Because I always missed, first off, that we are not fighting every boss. It's fine, it's cool that we can skip them. But sometimes, you know, I just... Because I was learning Metal Gear Solid uh, any percent first and then Metal Gear Solid all bosses, I found all bosses to be way more interesting. Now, the bosses in this game, except for the tank, are all lame. They don't do anything for you. But additionally, you can also do this cool thing where you walk through the pits here and hopefully you don't die at all. And I don't know, man, it just looks cool. Of course. Just walking through all these pits, know exactly where to go. I would just go down here. I would not correct. Exactly this has been timed. It's so cool. It's every pit that we die to, we get sent back to the beginning of this entire hallway, and that takes a long time to get through. So this is one way. Oh, take a look at these menus. Up, up, right, right. Yeah. Perfectly executed. You notice when House took the flashlight off, all those rooms went dark. It is possible 
Yeah. And we're back again here to without the flashlight. However, nice early bomb. Uh, just waiting for it to open, then to go in. That, and he keeps telling me, no, I'm going to grab the flashlight. Uh, also, there is yeah, for all three all pits runs that I did, PS2 Pair, PS2 NTSC, and GOG, I always grab the flashlight. I believe this door, thankfully, but it's still you don't want to do this in the dark. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. One day, if you run, like, and now all the way back I'm gonna up again. Put a donation in the center of. I'm gonna donate like twenty dollars <laughs> if you do this room in the dark. It's coming. Oh my god. <laughs> Technically, that's even blind. If you want to do this room blindfolded, be my guest. But uh, I personally would not would try like that. Like to try to do this section blindfolded and find a consistent. There's no steps at all to memorize awesome. where you are. For some instances, you always have to take very sharp corners, like doing this one segment blind. Um, good line. Anyway, right. So we did all yeah. this. Good now we saved Ellen. And if, for those that don't know, we just saw the fake Dr. Madna. And in order to correctly save the real Dr. Madna, we don't have to just save him. <laughs> Not the dark room. <laughs> yeah. Only then we hear from Dr. Madna oh, the order of lengths that we need to hit in order to kill the Metal Gear of this yep. game. Once again, guys, I'm sorry that uh, Twitch chat today is broken. I don't know what's up there. I guess Twitch is having some issues until you today. Until rescue my daughter, Ellen. Uh, as yeah. such, we decided that in community rules... We also recently found out, just after we did this run, that actually uh, Dr. Matna can count twice for the uh, amount of friendship that you gained with Jennifer. So you need to save 15 POWs to raise Jennifer's friendly value to 15. Only then she will answer you in certain rooms. <laughs> Daniel's phone out. Yeah, actually, you can save Dr. Matt now before saving Ellen and after saving Ellen, and both times it would increase your friendship value. We're like, okay, that's amazing. Too bad that's not faster, but it's a curiosity of the game. Nice item. Yeah, that's a good thing. Anti Venom is super awesome. And you'll see why. As you can also see, I glanced over it, but I finally used my one ration just because I was running out of health. And you will, in the maze, use some of your health because you have to take off the gas mask for a frame, put on the door card to enter a door, and then you also have to enter the door. You get hit twice from gas damage, sadly. And we have to go through two doors. So, in total, we need, I think, a total of eight points on the original and four points on easy. And so I had to heal myself, and this is why my menus are not fully optimal. I think in the PS2 PAL world record, you will actually see that my ration will stay for a long time. That's why some of my menus, as I said, are slightly different here, and I'm slightly slower now. to move on very specific lines. Um, you'll notice that uh, Snake actually, even though he was kind of in that bloody... Nice, very nice codec. Just hit it on the dark. ...and avoid any contact damage. Uh, we're going to make our final codec call. This is number four. It's going to yep. uh, be Jennifer. We need rank four to call Jennifer. Um, I run with notepad. Why not? Jennifer, hey, as long as you know how to do your run, running with notepad is totally fine. I get that. You cannot side. beat this game without the rock. The game is very memorization so get, uh, intensive at first. If you're learning this run for my tutorials, I go through every segment, and sometimes the segments can feel small, right? Uh, but because so much in total comes together, learning the run at first is still a lot of memorization. Every door and every card that you need to use with it, it's a lot. So it's fair if you want to use it. What are you doing? That was not planned. Let's try again. Come on. That was totally planned. How are you on the Vita version? Vita has phantom inputs. Uh, <laughs> the beat of it. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm on PS2. Uh, what you, that's, that is what? funny. That's what are you doing? I, I take one more, more shot at this. One more shot at this. The two Terminators caught so Arnold. Mm. Is it? Wait, 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 wait. Now. Funny though, like, like nobody got it. Like everyone was thinking, ah, ah, the planers. Yes, that was intentional. If we take five deaths on the checkpoint, which we said when we entered the elevator, it's and die five times. Then the game's like, man, you're Let's see, do I get the damage? I nice, I got the damage this version from the top one. Full rations, uh, 24 in our case. Ooh. And it's just like making the game so much faster for this. Yep. So yeah, that was intentional, just like it was uh, <laughs> when Joe did it as <laughs> GDQ. So that is... Shout out to my man, Joseph, Joseph316. The Joseph 2004 um, port of the game on uh, Java phones and later PS2, uh, PS3, all versions of that have it. The NES, the MSX, they don't... You've also noticed that I have not much uh, to say really in the late game of this run because I, I was kind of nervous. I wasn't really nervous. I had other runs that I did. I was way more nervous. I had tournament runs, like races. I was like, oh God. For this run, I was fairly relaxed. And then still in the beginning, I had like a 
like a little bit of anxiety to get over myself first and then after like 10 minutes i was actually pretty good before you it's uh yep. i don't remember what old 100 percent was i reckon it was, it was only done on original everyone did it on people original. did love of me for easy mode you can do this uh death abuse also on original so. to a point where we also learn why i mean easy is okay here's here's the biggest thing that annoys me so much my health i think my health was at like 24 points or 21 points and for the swim I did not actually note down the number of points I need to make it. It is fairly nice that you align yourself with the center of the bottom um, bottom deep pit part and you just swim up, right? Problem is it takes a lot of effort to go from the bottom to there. So usually if you don't have that much health, if you have like 13 points, I think you can make it from this corner to this corner and survive with one HP. If you're 15, it's better. Uh, if you want to take a long swim, you need way more health. So I was thinking, ah, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm on only plus eight versus my PB. Like the time is definitely good, looking good. I didn't play careful and this is what I got out of it. If I was playing careful, we would have kept a really nice time going. But as we can see here, we will. Yeah, I'm one HP now. I would probably have needed exactly one more HP, one more health point, and then I would have made it pass. But as it turns out, I died just there. Two HP too short. Excuse no. me. We gotta do this again. It's fine. It's just 20 seconds of time. But don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. We got this. <laughs> yeah, it turned out to be like more like 40, but still. Yeah, yeah. The next boss needs this many of them. So annoying. Usually you make this swim with this amount of health, but today it was one HP too short. I'm like, ah, god. This is the second big thing. So you will see me now. I will not heal up, right? I will just go here to the left side where I keep more of my health. And with this amount of health, you can definitely go over there. And then I, my health wouldn't work, so I was too fast on the menu inputs. I got a little bit shaken up from that, I think. Ration underwater. Thus, we all assumed this wasn't possible. Turns out, shoutouts to community member Puzon for one day going into the water Puzan. and holding up with full HP. You can make that for some yep. reason. This but is, only on easy. Yeah. This is scuba skip. And now I'm going to save all POWs. This is Jennifer's brother, by the way. If you uh, save him, he will tell you, hey, when you escape, take the left ladder. In case you never played the story, this is one of the many things the POWs will tell you. Actually, very useful information. And this time I actually made the um, work. That is very close. He's one tick from death, which means if he forgets to put rations on and heal before going into the next screen, he will instantly die. <laughs> I did that so many times. I was so many times not thinking about it and just kept on swimming and immediately died. I was like, oh no! Um, yeah. So, why? It costs you time if you're going for IGT because, fun fact, we time mostly all runs in RTA. Yeah. And because of this death war thing, you can save a lot of time in IGT if you sacrifice. Come on, if you sacrifice RTA. So many people are saying, yeah, there we go. Funny. I was having a weird miss menu moment there. Don't worry, it will not be the worst. There's another thing happening uh, later. So big shout outs to a uh, new runner, Hamatet. Um, we yeah, thought that line house just took was only on the PAL version because it, we haven't met. I, I told Sarge before we did the run, it was very important to me that we shout out as many people as we can. So we shout out Pucci Darcy, Joseph Joestar, Anya Api Green, Hamatet, Puzon. Uh, Sergeant himself, of course, as well. I uh, like so many key figures. Uh, I miss many war, like of course, Danius, Erefram, um, Taxman, of course, as well. Alien Hybrid, which also got actually me on the map to play PC version. If he didn't play PC, I would probably also never bother myself. And turns out it was actually a good decision because PC version is now split as its own category because it's 1.11% faster than NTSC. So yeah, uh, shoutouts to all of these guys whether they're still running or have been running this game. Uh, just so many people. For such a fairly small game, there have been so many people involved with it and it's really fun to play this game. And it's a great community. But just this one game when you want to teach it and you know do stuff with it. And it's so short. It's twenty less than 20 minutes in any percent. And it's usually less than 30 minutes in 100%. There's always a good time to run this game. I think. Snake, kind of the whole game, but uh, Snake runs. The whole game point, is eleven percent faster. Yeah, yeah like eleven percent faster. Uh, yep. Also, why PC separated? But we're not playing PC version here. We're not playing PC. It's, it's a bad PC, game. But let me tell you, 
But, Don't uh, play casually <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> it has so many issues. <laughs> Hammer Tat <laughs> showed that line is possible on NTSC, so again... Big gotta go fast, to pal snake. Uh, we're gonna grab pal Sonic gotta go slow. slow. What? what? That's the super gear. <laughs> That's the item we used to have. I guess Sonic <laughs> games, uh, no pal, of course, uh, Sonic went slow. Any category yeah. of this I actually got the original trilogy, Sonic 1, 2, and 3, on the Mega Drive now. And I intend to stream these games soon. The the Looking forward to that. We got gas rooms, we got mines, we got level 8 doors, which is why we killed Duck in the first place. Um, the this was, by the way, oh, we just missed it. Unquote, right, let's, let's see it again. This one bomb here in the corner, that was the reason why I started investigating early bombs. You just walk up here around the corner, you gotta take it very tight, just clean, and you can go up immediately, place a bomb without correcting, and then go right. And then place yourself around this corner here. This is uh, the point where you can go up as fast as possible. So once again, making the bomb here, walk over here. And then the time you walk from left to right, the bomb will already count down. And then explode as soon as possible so you can make this run up here. And this was the run that Nick Upper Green did in the uh, MSX tournament that we hold, uh, held in July. So because of this one bomb placement he did, I was like, man, there's probably a little bit more we can do with that. <laughs> That, that led to early bombs we being found. Duck in the first place. Um, the worst pit in the game, many runs have died because they ran into that pit. <laughs> oh it's yeah. It's very mean. Swap many runs have died to this right. initially more for me as well. Mine, more gas and follow it all up by an electric floor that kills your bit rate. Um, in the MSX version, you can break this, but on the PS2, they forgot the switch. Yeah. And we are here I was trying to do uh, Deathless Metal Gear, but I was thinking, ah, you know what, that's that's a stupid thing. I shouldn't show off like that. That was on the test. Please repeat it after me. We need to kill Metal Gear. Yep, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right. Of course we Very easy to memorize. And yeah, we have I swear, I swear, because it's actually just four inputs, uh, like four different things. No, it's just three. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. You just do the first two twice in a different order. There's like four aspects that you need to memorize in the end. A little bit of a snafu there. Something happened there. I don't know what. Yeah, it's those itchy fingers. They're just like ah. And here it is. Could you repeat that one more time? Particular manipulation. Excuse me, so nice. There we go. Now you said, yeah, the, the big boss got away. I had that happen today again. I was sending off three shots and I was like, did I three or four? I'll be fine. The good thing is, if you walk up too early, big boss will also start moving up initially. And then if you click on your action while he's going from left to right, you can still shoot a rocket and get him. Uh, I can actually, I can find the 100%, no, the all pits run I did with that happening. It's, it's a nice little backup if that happens. It's not lost already. And as you can see here, we was going over there, and I was still just able to react to that. But yeah, at this point, a very little fun fact, my splitter was one split behind. I have a light split running, and I changed it. As I, I'm the developer also for the auto splitter, for those people that don't know, for this game. And I changed it so when you enter the TX55 room, it is not a standard split anymore. So if you set it to default split settings, um, entering the room at the TX55 to the right will not split again. I have that though always because I want to enter the room and measure how long it takes for me from entering the room to finishing off the TX55. Didn't have that option. And I was like, man, I'm behind on my splits. I want to know the correct uh, final time. So I just wanted to skip the split. And for me, that's on my um, numpad number six. And it just so happens that PCSX2 has numpad six also bound <laughs> to um, an import for the game. So it opens up the equipment. I was like, Oh no. When I press forward, it sometimes opens the menu. That's actually bad. <laughs> he wants to get away, but I'm not letting him. So when I go here now, I will skip the split. I will go up and you will see me go on a the third screen ladder. Let's get ready on time. Congratulations. What did that happen? Right? On pace. I'm no, it definitely happened, right? Woo. Let's Time's coming up. Oh, I think it happened at the uh, TX55 run. Exactly 30 minutes, so that's that's not bad. <laughs> I was actually like, oh, hopefully it's, you know, a nice time. And we were like plus 58 seconds, something like that. Let me go back with me at the end. And that was Metal Gear. Congratulations. Yeah, there we go. This is where I, I accidentally opened the inventory. I was like, uh, <laughs> all the weapons. There we go. <laughs> Just because I pressed numpad to skip split and sadly peace access to we also had that going. I was like, oh, okay. 
But uh, yeah, here we go. So that's me, my run, my only run ever at one and done -athon. For those people that wonder, one and done -athon means that you can only participate once in this format. You sign up, if you get in, you do your run, and then you can never come back again. I will never be able to be back at one and done -athon, three, four, five, and so on. I will be forever only in one and done a fun number two and i'm very glad that i did it with metal gear i'm really glad that i did it with a category that is not popular actually because to me it was important to show one of the game 100 percent was an awesome you know just like showcase in order to be like, hey this is what we can do all in the game we literally everything in 100 percent and uh, it was so great to have sergeant Sardin on my side as well and it was so so much fun also, we had Jay Hobbs on commentary, or oh, hosting. Uh, he was very comforting us beforehand, uh, asking questions. Also, Richard from GDQ Tech, thank you so much. Shout out to all of you, and of course, shout out to GDQ for making these new shows possible. They just started this at the end of last year, at the beginning of this year. I participated in two hotfix shows. Uh, one was the What's Faster, where I did a race versus Nick Upper Green. I did the original Metal Gear Solid, he did the Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes run, and we had it side by side as a race we could maybe react to that in another stream but this is my second time here now um final time for one at Donathon, second time for a gdq hotfix show and who knows maybe i can think of something cool for another day where i can um do something else maybe you know <laughs> a glitch exhibition or another series of what's faster you know there's still other games that are fairly compatible to other metal gear games inside its own series and uh, it's interesting. Also, yeah, I was like shouting out like, ah, NES version is not real version. It's like, it's true though. MSX versions are better. And they are. <laughs> and every frame's just reacting like, ouch. Uh, it's fair enough. It's fair enough. So, yeah, that has been my run here. Um, once again, so much fun. Uh, it's always a pleasure and a little bit of an honor as well to represent the Metal Gear speedrunning scene for... The game that I love, the community that I like, that I put in so much time for, you know, developing, for example, the auto spreader or just making tutorials. And uh, yeah. Absolutely stunning. And there he is, J Hops. It's gonna erase me from the timeline. But of course, gotta say goodbye forever. It's it's time, Mouse. We gotta we gotta say goodbye forever to you. Thank you for showing off a fantastic run of Metal Gear. Uh, and we will be moving on. We're going to go to a short break here, folks, as we get ready. I love that Return of the Fox sound is still playing in the background. I wasn't saying anything because I think uh, I was muted, but I probably could have said uh, so something. So please, everybody, stay tuned. This one is short, sweet, and kind of wild, so I absolutely recommend sticking around. <laughs> we'll see you in a few. Kind of wild it is. Hell yeah. All right. So that has been it for me reacting to the one and done of fun. Sadly, Twitch chat is still not back, so I don't know what you guys are thinking. Um, I see 10 viewers. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, it was an honor. It was a pleasure. If you guys are seeing this on YouTube, of course, check out my Twitch stream. It's in the description down below. Follow me here, and I will do more Metal Gear speedruns, of course, as well. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. And um, yeah, see you next time.